Ahoy plant lovers. Uh, today I'm doing my tour of the garden. Uh, it's been a long hot summer, very busy with the flood repairs. Uh, we had our basement flood, which is half of our house and uh, a lot of constructions going on with that. And the kids being home from school also kind of put a damper on our free time. Uh, so here's our garden tour. It is now uh, like the very last week of August, uh, almost September. And now we're just gonna do a little bit of a garden tour and I'll try to keep it short today because I got some stuff to do. But I'm gonna put this around and now give you a little bit of the tour. Uh, first off, these are called Mexican petunias. I believe another word for them are arugula. Uh, they are <laughs> they're such a really good plant to uh, have down here. Uh, we are in uh, Jacksonville, Florida, and these are just a really good plant for, to have in your garden. They definitely bring a lot of pollinators, and we've had some of our alocasia, which uh, usually you know, produce the inflorescences, but they don't get pollinated. But when the ones around here, around these arugula, end up with berries. So, you know, they attract a lot of pollinators and you can get a lot of good uh, seeds from your plants that you want to reproduce. So, uh, let nature do the work for you. <laughs> uh, our Monstera corner over here is definitely growing big. Um, that is some also the uh, variegated uh, alocasia down there. And I planted a Mexicanum cutting in the Monstera. The big difference I've uh, made in this garden uh, this year was installing irrigation. You can see down here, uh, the Milnor four-way timer. I've installed irrigation on all of our gardens now. So, uh, it was a very dry summer. It was uh, unusually dry. And if I had not installed this uh, irrigation system, the plants would not be doing too good. Uh, this is our uh, Diefenbachia. It has scale on it, so I brought it outside and the uh, nature has resolved the scale. <laughs> I, uh, I just kind of showered it off every day uh, for about a week and then let nature do the work. This is an Amedrium, uh, Zipolanium, and the tree ferns right here, they have been loving the weather lately. It's been raining like every single day for the past week, and I guess hurricane season has arrived. It's cooled off a little bit and allowed the moisture to rain on us. This is a dwarf banana, which is not so dwarf anymore. Its stalk is only about four feet high, but you can tell the leaves are definitely getting big. And this started out as one of those bananas with the red stripes. And the red stripes are gone now. <laughs> so uh, I don't know if they leave as they mature, but definitely did not expect this banana to get this big. And now we have to kind of, <laughs> kind of walk around it to get to the gate. But um, this is our red banana. Uh, this is the second year. Uh, I think it lost all but one leaf in that freeze last year. Uh, our pygmy date palm over here is a single um, electric, oh wait, Hawaii blue colocasia. Uh, these are doing really good over here. The illustrious, you can see some new plants down here. Uh, I'm going to try to get a little bit of a shot of the uh, irrigation system. I don't know if you can see, there it is, there's one. Um, I went to uh, Lowe's and just grab some of theirs. Uh, I forgot what brand it is, but um, It's a pretty distinctive brand. And I don't think they have too many There's the black gecko uh, It's definitely Expanding this year, but uh, it's not quite as big and tall as it was last year probably competing for resources and Sun back there our fishtail palm is coming back. I think it was down to like a branch or two from that freeze but it is doing really well not all of our palms came back and that is actually like a zone 9b uh, so it's not <laughs> too safe here it's uh, needs protection um, our black beauty colocasia is back here you can see one of its new leaves is nice and black 
Uh, let's see here. We have Fonten SEI uh, shooting up all over the place. The Fonten SEI is definitely a runner because <laughs> it's just like it springs up all over the place. You have no idea where it's going to come up next. So, so too with the teacup colocasia. This is coming up from behind the fence. We have a bunch of bunch along the edge over there. Check this out. This is the orange bird of paradise. We're waiting for that one to come out. Orange bird of paradise next to the fake bird of paradise, the heliconia. Uh, those two you don't see often together, but uh, they are very similar. Here's here's an orange bird flower next to the fake bird flower. And I think we have another one. Yeah. It's not doing so hot down here. Ooh, it's getting like really wet. I noticed this stamen, if it'll focus, is very white. And this one is very blue. The camera's not picking up on it too well. But that was it's really interesting to see. Uh, it's actually a lot more blue than what the picture's showing. <laughs> I don't know why it's not. But anyways, some are very blue, some are very white, I guess. But interesting. I need to weed over here. I haven't. I don't think I've weeded, but like once early on in the summer. And you can see. I don't know what these things are, but they pop up everywhere. They're so annoying. Okay, here's the coal miner. It's got some dew on it. <laughs> Collecting some dew. Our aloha, which has gone nuts this year. It really got happy once I put the irrigation on it. Some really nice new leaves on it. And these are about uh, two to three feet big leaves, probably two and a half feet. Um, but that's that's a really fun one to look down on. You know, we have our second floor window up there. We look out and that's one I really enjoy looking at. Here's our Portora alocasia, doing really well this year. And I bet it's got some babies that have come up down there to this year but you know these are fairly long leaves they're about three feet I'd say bigger than the Aloha let's see here's our Mickey Mouse Taro with uh, some trailing plants and what do we got over here uh, the Poo plant, <laughs> Prince of Orange, doing really well and looking really red. It's a very nice plant. Um, it, it fell over a couple times. Every time it would rain, it would fall over. I don't know, maybe it's off balance, but that's why it's up here for now. We have the Congo, Rojo Congo down there, Singapore Twist, uh, lots of lady palms back here. It's our second year with those and they've grown a lot. Uh, the narrow sawtooth jungle boogie philodendron and a big dark black stem alocasia over here. Oh, it's got another leaf coming. Oh, and another jungle boogie leaf. I noticed that the growth in our garden really slowed down uh, over the past like month, I guess because it's been so dry. Another um, 69686 leaf coming. The Queen Anthurium has a leaf that popped out. Let's see if I can get a view of that one. See these, uh, if you don't know about Queen Anthuriums, they start out real small and they just start growing. So that'll probably get about twice that size. We had our foxtail palm. Just the other day, the top of it fell off. <laughs> it's rotted. Uh, but here's our joey palm. I need to upsize some of these pots. I got a little scared of upsizing pots because I did uh, the Tigrina alocasia. I, I posted it on my Instagram. I, I, uh, you know, it was in a tiny pot and it was getting really big and it just kind of stopped growing. So I repotted it and then like a week later, it had, like all its leaves were just blop, flopped over. And now I think I've lost it. I tried to save the bulb and then it rained like constantly. And I think the 
the bulb is now rotted. So sad, sad news about that. This is our mojito, and I think this is probably our colocasia that are doing the absolute best this year. I did a video where on mojito colocasia, and you saw these guys when they were small, and now look how big these guys are. So big for a headshot. Real big. Bigger than. Oh, and have you ever seen cordyline berries? These guys flowered and have some nice seeds coming out. These are the variegated uh, heliconia. Real pretty. They remind me of the banana, variegated banana. Um, let's see what else. This has been interesting. Our big bird of paradise over here, for some reason, it has decided to lean out away from the fence. And uh, the other thing about this gar all my gardens uh, that I wanted to point out is they've been very low maintenance this year. So, uh, you know, they might not look amazing right now, but we have barely done anything as far as maintenance with them because we've been so tied up with other things. Uh, there's our gardens back here. Oh, one more little look. Look at this plowmania eye leaf. Huge plowmania leaf. That's the plowmania philodendron. Really pretty. Um, that's a tree fern. That's like a bunch of tree ferns. But anyways, some plants back there. Having a good little shelter. Let's see. This reverted mojito. I wanted to point this one out because that was always interesting to me. It is still reverted. Still all green. And it looks like a Maui Gold, but it's a reverted mojito. And it has done so well back here. Like, you look back here and the illustrious and that reverted mojito are like the thriving plants. That with ivy. <laughs> we got to get rid of that. Uh, but yeah, everything has been very low maintenance. Uh, we haven't been fertilizing. I haven't had to water much. Um, I think... I was, you know, I had water as, I wasn't able to install all the irrigation in one day, so I had to water while I was installing that, but other than that, it's been pretty low maintenance, so I've got some tangerine trees that I need to repot, uh, you know, we've got navel orange, which is doing okay, this is something I've been wondering about, these are tangerines, and they're getting pretty tough, uh, can't tell if they're the fruit's going bad or if it's changing to orange don't know that but while we're at it let's take a last look over here look at this crazy shampoo ginger it's getting crazy big uh, no shampoo for oh oh my gosh yeah we do have a shampoo fruit there it is uh, it might be getting bigger I'm gonna keep an eye on that but that's exciting, I didn't know we had that. Um, you can see the stump of the double king we had. Uh, this is our Bismarck. Uh, I think you, I just told the story about that one. We're upset about that one. Um, let's see here. We have a prime example of a cat palm back there. You know, those. that's about as big as the cat palm gets and that's about as nice as they look, will look too. So if you're ever wondering about a cat palm, that's a really good example of one. Here we have a tropical storm colocasia planted maybe a month or two ago. Um, Caladiums, earth star bromeliad, really big monstera leaf. This is the most recent monstera leaf, I believe. Either that one or the one back there. But these guys are getting really big. I love it. And let's see, the lemon tree. We have one lemon on this tree. And it is not turning yellow yet, but it is, it's getting big. That is the lemon tree that started out as a $10 lemon tree. And it has really gotten huge. This tree fern... <laughs> Yeah, I planted this in the ground this year. I've got 
uh, irrigation going right to the base of it. Uh, Jennings I call it There's the irrigation and that's a different one. That one came from Amazon. It's a fourth inch line and I have to say I would not recommend the fourth inch line one unless you're doing just doing a very small garden. Uh, but look at this tree fern. It's just like going nuts back here. Like <laughs> it's just shielding the entire floor. Uh, looks like that colocasia is not surviving, not doing well. Uh, banana came up through the weed mat. Um, These things, if they want to come up, they will. <laughs> but here's our cat palm. Really, this one's really nice. Um, it's about max height on it, and it's up against the house, so it should do fare pretty well this winter. Uh, this is a black sapphire colocasia that I rescued. And here is the other cat palm, which is not doing quite as well, but it's doing okay. Oh, look, it's got berries. That's probably why. Oh my gosh. That's cool. I just, I haven't seen those before, but these are cat palm berries. And I'll have to see if I can plant those. Uh, cat palms are pretty nice. You can grow them in low light situations. Also have a Bolero tricolor. <laughs> it's getting pretty dense back here. Bolero tricolor, oh, look. So little light that all of the pink has pretty much gone out of that. That's unfortunate. But uh, yeah, this tree fern is just gigantic. Like, it just keeps going. <laughs> uh, it's really happy there. I still don't know if the spindle palm is alive. That's still questionable. Our bottle palm back here is alive. Harlequin. That's one of my favorite cordylines. Uh, found that one at Lowe's. We have a coffee plant back there that started as a little tiny, like four inch. I think we got it from Home Depot. And it is doing really well back there. It's probably, uh, two feet tall now which is good we'll be excited to get some coffee beans off of that eventually but we got to bring it in during the winter because the coffee plants are not hardy here this is a coal miner called acacia and we have some sugar cane right there this plumeria i need to put up for sale uh is probably like a hundred dollars worth of plumeria right there but the plumeria broke off as we were taking it into the greenhouse and we just put it in a put it in the dirt and uh here's another thing this gloriosum uh you know i brought it over here to repot and things got hairy and crazy and i didn't have time and i had it just kind of resting on this bag and the water from the rain just kind of started pooling on this bag and it started growing roots so i stuck some moss around it let's see these are some plants we got for free at the plant swap this is Golden Pothos. Oh, I need to go. I want to go and show you guys. I'll do an Instagram post about the uh, giant Hawaiian Pothos we put up on our oak tree. Uh, it is getting really big and, uh, you know, it didn't do much for a long time. Here's our pink princess caterpillar food. <laughs> we have a lot of caterpillars and butterflies around here. So, uh, inevitably, plants get eaten. You can see here more. That's actually sun damage, but uh, this is an olive tree we got at I think Farmer Trader Trader Joe's. I'm gonna try growing that. And again, the coal miner. Uh, I meant to try to sell this guy, <laughs> but uh, now he's just hanging out in this pot. And the sugar cane I found growing wild over in our garden. Uh, Oh my gosh, that plumeria's roots. I just noticed that. Look at all those roots coming out of that pot. Oh man. That definitely, I have not, I needed to upsize that pot like two months ago. Okay, well, that is basically the, uh, <laughs> the, the tour for today. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing some interesting little plants here and there and uh, i'll try to do a better video sometime soon 
I like to point out the colocasia because that's just sort of what I've done videos on before and had fun uh, playing around with. They're really fun to grow. But uh, if you'd like to stop by next time, this has been a tour of the Ahoy Plant Lovers Garden and uh, subscribe for more. Hit the video like button and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.